Kendrick dropped a motherfucking anthem, best <laughs> rap disc of all time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell got, you this. Man? I want to hear your opinion. Who you think was right, so, so. Drake or Kendrick Lamar? I think it all depends on what you were trying to get out of the rap beef. If you was trying to get, if you believe the winner is whoever makes the best music wins, Kendrick mm-hmm. won. Kendrick won. If you say who had the best diss record, I think mm-hmm. Drake won. I think Family Matters oh. is the best diss record. How? Yeah. How? Because I think I think They Not Like Us uh-huh. is a great classic record. Uh-huh. But I think as time passes... It won't matter that it's about Drake. It'll just be about the song. Like Dre Day, nobody cares that it's about Easy E. It's just a classic. But see, that's ass what record. that's what make it so special because Kendrick beat Drake at his own game. Because we forgot you, back to back, really dissing me. We just yeah, really listened to that shit in the club. Yeah, but he just beat Meek straight up. That's what I'm saying. Straight like the Meek diss wasn't even what he. Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm <laughs> yeah. done with defending Meek. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. So yeah, that so moaning and wearing these see through shirts. Shirt, yeah, shit, I'm not get up. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, so I'm cool. I'm defending Meek. My, my thing lie. was, yeah, my thing was uh, not like us. I feel like anybody who doesn't like that track, I look at them suspiciously. Mm-hmm. That's prob that's probably the song of the summer by a mile. No, that's <laughs> but I don't see like, and I'm je- and I'm like jealous you know. of you because you got to listen to it at home. Oh, I saw mama. you had your show at home and man, oh, I wish I could be in the bay whenever that busted on that beat. Oh, no, I that, wish I that could that just go so this how I know this nigga Kendrick won. I'm out the country <laughs> right now. They playing that shit out the country right now. Yeah, of course. Of course. But to and they me, they didn't play Drake shit. They didn't play that weekend. Because I don't think Drake, because I, because none of Drake, that nothing that Drake did was like a hit. That's the thing that made that uh, move by Kendrick crazy. Because one, Kendrick done dropped what four albums, and then like it depends on if you uh, count Section Eighty or whatever. But four studio albums after Section Eighty, right? Mm-hmm. And. This nigga ain't had not one Bay Area bop nothing ever. And then he got into a rap beef and decided, nigga, you been in California all this time. You ain't have one busted beat. And then all of a sudden, he was like, now's the time. <laughs> Go to the vault. Pull because that thing out. It was a great move, man. It was a great move. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like people not mentioning Drake I'm trying to make a club record and it's not hitting the club like how he thought he was gonna hit. Because the song where he, he switched it oh, what fucking song is it where he switched his flow with different beats like three different times? He did like a southern. Yeah, flow. that's uh that's Family Matters. Family I think Family Matters. Matters, I think Family Matters is the best diss song of the whole thing. And um, yeah, so I think that's like the best. Family Matters is a better song than they not like this. It? A best, a better diss song, a better diss record. Like, so you believe? That, do you believe that? Oh, uh, uh, he he threw that kid out there to, to so Kendrick can say that, and it's false. You believe that? Now that's the thing. That's why I say it all depends on what you believe, mm-hmm. right? Um, I don't know these niggas, bro. I, I, I don't have a personal relationship <laughs> with these niggas, right? Almost. So for me, on an objective, on being objective, is either you believe all of it yep. or you believe none of it. Yep. I don't like people who be going, well, I believe this, but I don't believe that or what. Mm. How you know? Nigga, you all, you've never met these niggas. You I don't just know. Feel like it's something in my soul telling me Drake got a daughter. I don't know. I just believe it for some motherfucking Brother, reason. Brother, listen. But that's a point that I wanted to make. You want to know why everybody believes Drake? A lot of people believe Drake has a daughter. Uh-huh. Because nobody thinks Drake is a good guy. Exactly. Nobody. No. Yeah. No, nah, he's not a good guy to the girls. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Nobody. Th- but that was Kendrick's angle. Kendrick's angle was he treats women terribly. Mm. He's doing all this stuff. He's even hiding the daughter. It's all this stuff. And I'm just sitting there like, yeah, Kendrick, I never thought this nigga was. I never thought he was a good person. Damn. The problem is, we thought you were a good person, Kendrick. And after you rolled around in the mud with this nigga, your name got dirty some. You know what I mean? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Kendrick really showed us. He got more time than what we thought. 
Yeah. <laughs> niggas making like Kendrick just be yeah. this nigga just be all yeah, doing like he, yoga he had a, all day. Yeah, the, yo, he had a boss. Watering garden. Yeah. This, this nigga really be at the house got time to really talk a lot of shit. He just chewing yeah. Out. And then he, you know, Kendrick made it seem like he wasn't digging for dirt. But then he came with the record where he obviously has been digging for dirt. And then Drake said, I gave you fake dirt. And then Drake, like, it, it's just like, it just depends on what you believe. If like, you had to pick who won the battle, let's keep it gangster. It just it just depends on what you think is what, what you want from it. You sound like, I think you think Drake Because this is... I do, I do. But the reason I do is because it's the angles, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's what exactly because one, the bars matter to me. I know people love they not like us. Mm -hmm. This nigga ain't like killing it with the bar. O V Ho is funny, That's but it's funny. not yeah, yeah. Freaky ass nigga, you a 69 God. Hilarious. Crazy. Hilarious. But nigga, that's not it's you know what I mean, like. But that's like what a, from diss, a, a, a really a diss record is really about who can roast the best. After that, it's gonna be who more gangster or nah, who not. But know listen, but they, but that's the point that I'm making. Now that's we agree on that. Mm -hmm. That's what we agree on. Mm -hmm. And to me, Drake was funnier. I think. Uh, yeah, I think. What was funny? Him being a midget. He called. I think no, 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 no. I think Kendrick was funny on "They Not Like Us." He was hilarious. Yeah. Oh, Nick, Nigga, trying to strike a chord, but it's probably a minor. Yeah. Is the fuck, yeah. nigga? The way the colonizer flip was yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Even with the Atlanta shit, nigga. He like nigga, you going to Atlanta, yeah. nigga? Two change, nigga, nigga. It yeah, good, nigga. That, that flip was crazy. And then the uh, freaky ass niggas need to stay inside. Two, huh? Do you think t Two Chains took that as? A I wondered. I wondered. I, man, no one said that, but Nobody I thought that. I was like, that. "How Two Chains?" Yeah, I was like, like "Yo," because he was like, "This nigga gave you the pass, and yo, and that still don't make you no good. That nigga can't give you the pass." I was like, "God damn!" Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I was like, you know, uh, Two Chains better not say nothing. But it, it's whatever. Uh, yeah, I, think, I thought I, it when I heard it. I was like, if I was two chains, I was like, nah, I don't like that, Kendrick. Yeah, I, I, think, I wouldn't say nothing publicly. I'd be like, ah, think I wish you would word it that a little differently. Yeah, because but he just um, like that nigga two chains. But that's that. what I'm saying. But you know, I think I think uh, the way Drake approached uh, a lot of things was just funny. I think the the AI record was funny. They they had it taken down, but I think the premise of that was funny. Yeah. I think it was hilarious to have Pac telling this nigga to hurry up, telling to have Snoop telling this nigga to hurry up, and then uh, I just think I just think it was like when I listened to uh, Family Matters, the whole uh, <laughs> when you beat your girl is it self defense because she bigger than you. Is just See, nigga, that's, it was horrible. So how you feel about? How but you feel but about I, but for me, people? I only care that it's funny. That's all I care about. So you don't if he would have just said talking about family and all, I that don't business. give a fuck about none of that, I nigga. Think, is I'm, it funny? That's all I care about. But that like wasn't when, cool. When though, Kendrick they, they when agreed. Kendrick went through the whole like therapy session in uh Meet the Grams, uh -huh. there's niggas who love that. I don't love it. It's too dark. You know what I mean? You like then that? You, no, and then he's possibly talking to a kid who don't exist for a whole for a whole verse. Like if the kid now, if you can prove who the said, kid, who said the kid don't exist? Though that's what I'm saying. The nigga who's being accused of having the kid said the kid don't exist. You got a good point right there. And I don't know these niggas, but Drake so, is, Drake is the same nigga said I wasn't hiding the world from my kid. I was hiding the kid from the world. And I hear that, and this it's a lot of niggas. He be trying to manipulate the fans. Now, now he be manipulating that, the but, that's I, I, but, but that's what I. But that's what I'm saying. And that's bitch. why Kendrick. That's why I had Kendrick up because Kendrick easily could have just kept showing you how he is a manipulator. I thought that was a great angle from Kendrick. Yeah. That Drake is a manipulator. I believe the colonizer angle was the way to go. Because yeah. we had talked about it on the last pod where I was like, Drake wants everybody to think he's the cool guy. And you was like, that nigga ain't cool. And I was like, hey, hey, but Lewis love everybody, guys. Love that ain't everybody. what it is. I, I love everybody. But the nigga ain't cool. Nigga Let's ain't just cool. keep it real. And I think Kendrick was doing a great job of exposing yeah. that. And all Kendrick had to do was just keep it rap. 
Keep it rap. Because mm-hmm. even if Drake got dirty, if Kendrick just kept it rap, like they not like us, people mm-hmm. can say that I don't think he went dirty and then they not like us. He's talking about, because even when he's talking about the pedophile stuff, yeah. he's talking about a nigga in your camp already having that on his resume. That on him. Yeah. So you attach to that. And then when he say you try to strike a chord and it's probably a minor, that doesn't mean like a five year old or a ten year old. That means just underage nah, girl. Fuck that's all that. grooming. A minor is a minor and that's an insult. No, no, that's no. What I'm saying is it is. Insult. It's not, but I think when you say a nigga like underage girls and a man and he like children, that's two different things. You see what I'm saying? I think that's two to me, that's two different things. One of them is a groomer. And the other one is <laughs> like under children. Age, for Drake age, for Drake age, under age is 21. But you get what I mean? Like, and that's for a minor. Me, Bitch, but, if you but what I'm saying, club, but what I'm saying is, if you can't no, go listen, to the club and get a shot, you you're a minor. Yeah. So for me, there's no defending either act, right? Mm hmm. But my my the point that I'm making is whenever you making these claims or whatever, it works better in Drake's favor when he says, "I heard that your that your manager might or your boy might be the father of your child." Mm. Kendrick ain't like you can't say I know this is about you for a fact, right? And yeah, I think when Kendrick, that. yeah, you can't do that. That's what people are forgetting. A lot of uh, Drake didn't really accuse Kendrick of a lot of stuff and when he did accuse Kendrick of stuff he made it funny that's what it's supposed but to be for me that's what niggas do when they ain't got nothing to say it's like you cracking jokes and shit because but you that's ain't got what no real but, shit to say about me but that's what I was tell but that's what I'm saying that's why Kendrick should have just kept it real shit because oh, Drake showed you. that he didn't have no real shit to say I feel you, but I think that's why Kendrick won because he hit him with some real shit and some funny shit. But the real shit, the quote unquote real shit, is is shit is speculatory. You know what I mean? Nah, it's not like it's. Not, that's why it needs to be. See, listen, when when Tupac said, "That's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker." Mm-hmm. I don't care if he fucked Faith. That's mm-hmm. funny. That's yeah. you can't get. That's hilarious. I, I don't. That's I don't give a fuck. That's disrespectful as shit. But it is funny the way that See, he went no, about that, saying that. That's shit. more disrespectful than funny. It's the difference between being funny and being. I think everybody laughed when they heard that shit. I nah, think the first time Biggie you hear that laugh. shit, Biggie didn't nah, laugh. Nah, of course Biggie didn't that's laugh. But I think everybody who hear that shit is that's funny, man. I think for me, you want people to go, ooh, ah, but. I don't want you to get... I don't want to care about this man's therapy session or the breakdown. I never thought Drake was a good person. Kendrick Kendrick was the person who looked like a good person. And yeah. because he sat there and fed into the mud slinging, he got dirty. Nah, he didn't now, get dirty. I think, I, think, I think Kendrick Lamar solidified his legacy like on a whole nother level with beating Drake in a beef. Like it's clear, Everybody and even then, Kendrick and even Lamar. then, it and even then, it's like, yeah, Kendrick, your your songs are hot right now, but the fact that your last album didn't do numbers and wasn't hot, and now it seems like everybody only wants to listen to you because who you're dissing, which is really just nah, it's, Kendrick, that matters, Kendrick bro. Kendrick is a legend. All, he all he got. I'm not. Hey, he is a legend, and so is Snoop. Uh-huh. But if Snoop diss Drake, Snoop would get more streams than he's gotten in the past, whatever. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they did so, say they say yeah. uh he broke the hip hop record and streaming it yeah. in the day. And that's and on? let's be honest, it's because of who he's talking about. So when Drake says, you know, you doing numbers only because you're talking about the boy, honestly, if you're being real, you should probably just hand me the money over. That's a great angle. Like, listen, that's I know you nah, don't listen. Not Kendrick Lamar. He could say that to Rick Ross. Oh, no. Nah. He could nah. say that to Rick Ross. Not Kendrick, bro. That nigga Yo. got platinum albums. He got platinum albums. I hear you. But the knock on Kendrick is that he's not consistent. And his last album, was it his least successful? It got the Grammys and stuff, but streaming wise and sales wise, wasn't that his but, least but successful? This is Kendrick point. Nigga, how would your streams do if you wasn't clicking up with them Atlanta niggas every motherfucking episode? I mean, every- and that's what I wanted Kendrick to stay on. 
Because you could beat him just like that. You could have beat him just like that. See, the thing is, when he said, let's keep it a friendly fade, yeah. I was 100% on Kendrick's side. I'm like, because I'm looking at Drake like, nah, nigga, don't try to muddy the water because you're going to have to outbar this nigga. Yeah. Because it was, because really the beef is, it was never personal. It was always. No, I think Kendrick really don't like that nigga Drake. No, 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 but not like him. But Kendrick is always of the mindset, nigga, I'm better than y'all. I'm better than y'all. And until you prove you better than me, I don't want to yeah, hear it. For sure. Which, yeah, he ain't never talk about Drake mom, no, none of that. He was like, uh -huh. white boy, I'm better than you. Yeah. And that's just and that's just what uh -huh. it was. And I don't like like in rap beefs, a lot of people be lying, man. They're like, mm -hmm. man, in these rap beefs, you say whatever, whatever. I done seen a hundred rap beefs. Niggas will talk about shooting you. Mm -hmm. Niggas will talk about you and your crew yeah. being lame and all of that shit. Niggas don't talk about personal business of your mother or your children. Both yeah. of these niggas was corny for that shit. Yeah, I agree. Both of these niggas, yeah. Nigga, your, your opponent is standing in front of you. Like, let's say, let's say. But the that, only way uh, to get Drake, though, the really only way to beat Drake, though, you got to hit him like where nobody willing to hit him at. Because Drake no, a big but, dog. So but that like, and I hear you, but but Kendrick has the skill. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people have to go that route to beat Drake because they don't have the skill or the popularity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, but he's still a West Coast nigga. You got to keep it gangster. It's like you but can't that's be what a made, West Coast rapper and not say no gangster shit at all. But that's what made they not like us a beautiful record for me mm -hmm. because he said you a culture vulture, right? All you do is steal. You don't even come from a place that has a hip hop sound. Let me show you where I come from, though. I'm from Cali, nigga. Yeah. Must have don't have Oh, and you he can't even dumb. you can't even front on that, on nigga. Mama. This is what I. This is where I'm from. I'm yeah. from the West Coast, nigga. This is West Coast shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's a hit. That's what I'm saying. So and anybody he's, who he's genius for including the whole California, because I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it was brilliant. I it wasn't was brilliant. That into the beef until that nigga started saying, "You feel me, nigga? Oakland gonna be your last stop, nigga." It's like, Oakland yeah, it's gonna be your last stop, nigga. I'm like, so yeah, this nigga so, behind so yeah. So my thing is, if you're a person right who is just looking at the beef for you, like Kendrick won, I will never argue with you. If you're a, but if you're a person that's like Drake one, I won't argue with you. It, it doesn't become Nigga, a conversation I'm a with me. I'm a argue. Yeah. It well, it doesn't become a conversation with me until you disc until you discuss why, right? Uh -huh. Discuss why. Now, if you say Kendrick just dropped better music in the back in the back and forth, I won't argue with you. But if you like, I think Kendrick won because. Of uh, beat the Grams, I'd be like, ah, nah, nigga, I don't, I don't trust your judgment. Mm -hmm. But if you like, they not like us is the best record that came out of this. Yeah. So Kendrick wins. Yeah, I can't argue with that. That's how it's I'm a land, it's it a landslide top. victory. Yeah, it's a landslide victory. Because I actually did like Meet the Grams. I did like that shit. Um, and I like that. Uh, I like it was a tie until Kendrick dropped that. Uh, they not like not, us. They was, not like us. There's nothing close. That's I'm gonna tell you how good they not like us is. Mm -hmm. It's better than like that, and like that was insane. The one that got Which it kicked one? off. That's the one with uh Future Metro oh, Boomin. And yeah, yeah, that's a slap. Yeah, that track is insane. Yeah, and that nigga beat that. He did. Beat that. <laughs> I he did.